Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to another Starbound mod showcase. Today, we are looking at just a handful of little, actually, free mods in particular today. Two race mods, the Salok and Penguins, because who doesn't love Penguins? And Salok, who are basically steampunk lizards. This is also the first of several episodes where I get cracking on a backlog of suggestions that have been given to me regarding uh, mods I should showcase, so... If it feels like you've suggested one a while ago and I have blatantly been ignoring it, first of all, my apologies, and second of all, we shall work on getting up to speed with that. The important thing, however, steampunk lizards. Steampunk lizards. Seriously, you can't get much better than that. Lizards, that also some pretty cool names here. Let's have a look. I'm not saying them because there's some of them that I feel I probably wouldn't be able to pronounce. But I can pronounce Davros Ihearts because Davros Ihearts. It's it just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Anyway, let's jump in here as Davros. And uh, we're also going to enable admin so that we can immediately... Well, no. Hang on a second. First of all, before we resort to cheating to get awesome steampunk themed clothing, also you'll notice that they have their own ship type, which is pretty cool. Yeah, 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 you'll be fine, Sail. First of all, though, uh, the important thing is the inventor's table. Ignore all the other stuff there. As that does not relate to what we're doing right now. I also have 14 perfectly generic items for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. There's probably a good reason for that. Let's just upgrade this. And let's see here. Specifically, what we want is an anvil. Uh, let's see, is there anything else we might want? I don't think so right off the top of my head. Let us just plop this down. And... Upgrade everything, first of all. And let's take a quick look at some of their... Ar actually, I guess in order to properly do that, let's turn off admin mode so we can actually see, specifically, Salak armor. We have some soldiers, uh... Titan brass bar. So they have some different stuff in terms of materials by the looks of it, unless uh, there is a mod that, or specifically Fracken Universe conflicting with things. Uh, these, of course, are our various gaslight weapons from a different mod, but they do seem rather fitting, don't they? We can get a quick look here at uh, what the various tiers of ship look like. There we go. All right. One at a time, then. All right, so first of all, that's just fixed. Then we have, oh my, oh my, this is something, this is really something. I feel like we should zoom out. I'm also almost wondering if, you know, I almost feel like a glitch of some sort may have occurred. I mean, this is a this is a very work in progress mod, and oh, hello, interesting. So if some stuff ends up being kind of weird looking, that would be why. I like the fact that the actual uh, kind of shape changes a little bit every time uh, every time we upgrade it, and by that I mean it's sort of hopping between the various different race uh, ship types. I, for one, I think that's kind of interesting. All right. Okay. Actually, because it's a work in progress, these upper tier ships, I'm assuming, are just, uh, this is like just a high lotal ship with the background in there. A T8 seems to bring it right back up to where it needs to be, which is pretty cool. I like the fact that, what was it, the T3 or tier 3 is kind of, uh, it appears to be... Like, there's a hint there of something much bigger coming in terms of the shape and design and everything, which I, for one, think looks pretty cool. In addition to race mods that add cool new race stuff, something I saw just today while I was making sure I had everything in place. Uh, where? Ah, here we are. Torches. This is something I'm sure I saw being demonstrated earlier in, uh, like, in a Starbound dev blog. However... 
Okay, I'm not getting, I'm not quite showing it as well as I can, but as you can see, you can grapple off of light sources. This is an awesome mod. This is, this is exactly what I wanted. Now you can really live up your Indiana Jones fantasies. It's awesome, isn't it? I certainly think so. So yeah, basically what the mod does is it adds this kind of behavior to any whip. And in fact, even if it is a modded whip, as long as it has like the basic vanilla game whip behavior, it'll automatically get the awesome uh, whip animate or like whip swinging grappling animation. So pretty cool. Now we can be a gentleman, steampunk, lizard, archeologist, adventurer, in chief, Esquire. All right. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's, uh, moving on with our, uh, mods. Is it ice material? That is not it. Is it literally just ice? Again, this is an example of why I should look things up before I do these videos. And someday I will learn to properly do that. Unfortunately, that day does not appear to be today. Some more chicken has fallen from the sky because, you know, that's just what chicken does. Next up on our mod list, in addition to showing off some cool steampunk lizards, some cool playable penguins, you can also, with one other mod, get penguin tenants. So you can have penguins move in and live with you. And all you need is to have a home that is built out of ice. Because as we all know, penguins like cold weather. Because, you know, that's what penguins do. Live in cold weather climates. This is going to be like the ugliest house ever built. Spawn item. Ice door. Basically, all you need is about 80 blocks worth of ice-themed furniture. And once you correctly put all that in, you can get a penguin tenant. He also has a gun, because penguins like guns. You have nothing to say to me. They never have anything to say to me, darn penguins. All right, but before we wrap this episode up, let us also make a penguin character so that we can see what penguins look like when we're playing with them. They play, as you can imagine, a little bit differently just due to their size. But anyway, let us say goodbye to Davros for now and let us say hello to Mr. Penguin Face. This is a penguin. Penguins are very penguin-like, as you can see. Manipulator mod, for some reason, yeah, for some reason, penguins have Look at him so adorable, he can... The sword is bigger than he is. The hilt is bigger than he is. Isn't that adorable? Anyway, so, as you can see, penguins are a little bit different in the sense that, uh, I don't even think they can put clothes on. Let's, uh, let's, let's... Spawn item, top, top hat head. Just listen. As you can see, clothes and stuff really does not, it, it, it just doesn't work with penguins for the most part. They're just too tiny. Which is kind of funny. He's got a floating hat there. But uh, yeah, so uh, that's basically, I and mean, that's what penguins are. I mean, if you're gonna play with playable penguins like this, then uh, you gotta be ready for the fact that they're gonna look a little strange. They're gonna feel a little strange. And, excuse me, they don't really have a lot of cosmetic stuff for them, so, yeah. But, you know, still, if you love penguins and you need more penguins in your life, then this mod has you covered. So, I think that's probably everything we have to look at today, so until the next time, thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.